Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you another brand new episode of Design Tech. And I'm back. I am back, and it has been way too long. Man, I barely even remember where anything is in this world. Much less what I was doing last when I recorded this. I think I was working with the Ancient Trees mod. Speaking of which, there's an update for that that fixes that uh, Mine Factory Reloaded issue that I was talking about. Um, in fact, there's actually probably updates for quite a lot of the mods within this pack. So I need to get around to updating this thing, but that's not what we're going to be working on today. I have cleared away an area right in here, and this is where we're going to be working. Now, I will confess, I do not know exactly what I'm going to be putting in this area just yet, but I do know that I'm going to need to fill in some stuff, and I do also know that I'm going to need a bucket of water, because we have this pool of lava just kind of chilling over here, and uh, that's not really working for me. That's going to have to go, because if I'm going to be building with wood, or anything that can burn for that matter. I don't want it anywhere near that lava, so we're going to do away with that. I also want to fill in this, because this is going to be problematic as well. So let's just kind of do a little bit of this, a little bit of terraforming to start things off. And you know what? I almost forgot. I've got this fancy builder's wand, which apparently doesn't work or something. I don't know. That's a little bizarre, but whatever. Dirt is dirt. We'll just get this all patched up. And then we can get into our project for the day. Now, the reason that I'm choosing this location as kind of a getting back into it location is because it's close enough to my base where my wireless terminal will be able to grab pretty much anything I need it to grab, which is good. Um... We can put those away for now as well. So let's just take a look at what materials we have to work with. I'd really like to do something with cherry wood, honestly. That could be a lot of fun. Let's just grab a few stacks of that. It's a nice dark red color. Um, and then maybe, maybe some dark oak. Those two might go very nicely together. If we use the dark oak logs... Let's just see. Let's just see how those two go together. Ooh. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I think that's what we're going to do. So, let's go ahead and... Uh, where's my lumber axe? There it is. Oh, that's not my lumber axe. There we go. Okay. So, we've got kind of our color palette chosen. And I think what I might do here is I might build a little bit of a barn or something. Maybe I can make this uh, kind of a, a grazing pasture area type thing for cows. I don't know. I really don't know what I'm trying to get done here. I'm just um, trying to kind of get back into the swing of things at this point. Uh, remember, you know, how to YouTube and stuff like that. Because for those of you, for anyone who doesn't know, I've been gone for about the last two months, and uh, this is my first week back. This is now, I think, the sixth or seventh video I've recorded since getting back, and uh, I'm I'm shaking off the, the cobwebs. I'm shaking off the rust, if you will. So, kind of a thing that, uh, that needs a little... I need a little work. I need a little practice, I will admit. Um, let's see. Can I use my builder's wand now? Thank you very much. Let's just get that all patched up. And actually, you know what? I'm going to put this stuff in there as well. And that way we can grab the rest of the dirt that we need to finish up this patch job. Because I want to cover this up completely. No sense in uh, letting it just kind of linger around. That just seems like a poor life choice. There we go. There. And 
there. And then we'll do a little bit of a manual patch job on it as well. Because we do want it to look, you know, somewhat natural. And these kind of lines right here, that does not look that natural at all. It's way too curved. There we go. That's much better. Then when the grass comes and fills that in, that will actually look pretty good. Okay, so dirt, cobble, back in there. Got it. Uh, in fact, water bucket back in there as well. All right, let's grab some dark oak, and let's grab some cherry wood, and let's get to work here. Is it dark already? Man, time. Time just flies by when you're having fun, I'll tell you. We're six minutes into the episode, and I haven't accomplished a single thing yet. This is terrible. Okay, so, barn. Let's kind of lay this out. We'll maybe do... Hmm... Two, three, four... We want a two-wide center, I think. So we'll go maybe... Oh, and we also need to keep in mind... Let's maybe do it this way. So we'd have a window... here. Do we want the barn... I think we want the barn facing this way. So we go, let's see... This'll be a window. And then we'd have the door. Um, this would be a window, right? Yeah. Okay. So we'd have something like this, right? Yeah. Yeah, that looks right. Okay. Sometimes it's easiest to kind of think and visualize if you do it this way. Sometimes it's a little bit easier to kind of plan stuff out if you think about it in advance. So now the barn would kind of come over around like this, and inside we want spaces for animals. Ooh, and here's something I need to test. Because I was recently playing um unabridged, Minecraft unabridged, uh, with the Primus guys on their server. And I just need to see... Uh-huh. Let's take a look. The fence gates from Malice's doors. Maybe? Maybe they're not in here. Um, let's see if it's... There we go, Dark Oak Gate. No, that's extra trees. Hmm. Okay. Too bad. Looks like they're not in there. That makes me... That makes me sad face. That's okay. So I'm thinking we'll have, like, three for the stalls. Like this. Or maybe do... Maybe we'll want to make those... Hmm. I'm thinking we're actually going to make those four. Now, this is going to be, in some ways, really kind of a, a bad idea, because that means we're going to have to, we won't have a, a clear center point, but it will allow us to put windows in that are too wide, and then, like so. So that'll be kind of our basic shape here. Sort of like that. You'd go away and turn into a window. You'd go away and turn into a window, and that should allow us to plan out the rest of this pretty much flawlessly. Why would... what? No. No, why would I want dark oak? Why? I don't. I want cherry wood. There we go. So we'll get something like this going. Why is this not lining up? Because I can't count. Dur -dur -dur. See? I told you guys I was back. Back to my old ways and my newishness. The professionalism. It never ends. So we get something like that going. And maybe... There. And then... That goes away. 
And now we can lay this out properly. There we go. That's much better. That is much better. Okay. Now, the fun part. So, say we go like this for those windows. In fact, these windows can probably all be the same height. There you go again, giving me dark oak when I don't want it. Game. What are you doing? And there it did it again. I was ready for it that time, though. I'll tell ya. Okay. We good? I think we're good. Just looking around. Yeah, this is, this is finally starting to come together like a real thing. I am just going to grab a couple more stacks of cherry because we're going to need a ton of it. Uh, let me get some more work done on the barn, guys, and I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, I am back. So I've got the main frame of the barn kind of put down like this. And then what we're going to do, I think, is... We're going to use these dark oak logs to kind of form a frame around it, like this. There we go. Although I'm almost tempted to put those in the corners. I wonder if they'd look better in the corners. Hmm. Hard to say. Very, very hard to say. Let's just bring this... Actually, no, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I think that needs to go lower. I think that needs to go a block lower. That's what I'm thinking. So we'd actually put that down here. How's that look for height? Um, that looks all right, although I feel like it needs to be significantly taller to be this wide. Because to have a proper barn, I mean, it, it needs to come up to, like, here, and then... So maybe what we'll do, maybe we'll just go two stories. I mean, I suppose we could do that. There's no rule that says we can't. Yeah, why not? Let's just go two stories on it. We'll do a two-story barn and then put the gabled roof on it. So altogether, this will be a three-story barn once you include the loft, uh, which is not bad. That's a pretty, uh, that's a pretty hefty barn. Oh, come on now. Come on. Oh, had to go and do that, didn't you? Anyway, I'm going to get some more work done, guys. I'll be back in a moment. All right, guys, I am back. Just wanted to bring you a little bit of a progress update once again. I've got the second story pretty much completed. I'm just putting the finishing touches on the walls here. There we go. That should do it. And then we just need some more dark oak logs so we can finish this off. And it will go right here. And I decided uh, before I had a couple of uh, pairs of logs sticking out like that, I decided that it really didn't fit with this particular build, and I didn't like it. So I'm just going to have them uh, kind of connect to this dark oak log right here that goes all the way up. That way we're hiding the, uh, the inside of the trunk, if you will. So I think this will look a little bit better. And we'll just bring that all the way over. Okay, now we've got an actual barn shape kind of forming here, which is what we want. We'll need some highlights and some of that kind of stuff, but the next step is going to be the roof, and that's going to be the hard part. So, let's go up to here, and let's just take a look. What's our barn shape look like? Like that? Okay. So. Let's map this out. Ah, oh, I really don't want to use dark oak for this. But I might have to. I'm trying to think if there's really any other option. Um, is that really all the... That's all the dark oak I have? Oh, no, no, no. 
I'm going to need to harvest some more. That's not going to work. I mean, luckily there's dark oak trees, like, right here. So, I can get them relatively easy. But at the same time, how is that all the dark oak that I have? Like, really? Ugh. <sighs> What do I have a tree? Oh, that's right. I'm not growing them at the tree farm because if you grow them at the tree farm, they destroy your tree farm, and that's no fun for anybody involved. Now I remember. That's all right. We'll just uh, we'll just use our lumber axe and grab some the old-fashioned way. There we go. Okay. Now, moving on. I'll just put some of this junk away that I don't need. And now we can make some considerations here. So let's see. I think first and foremost, do I have a crafting table? I do. Oh, and I, I, I had one sitting right here too. Oh, well. Uh, Definitely going to need quite a few... of these stairs so we can start kind of planning this out and let's see here if we do that we'll go now basically a gabled roof which is what we're going to be doing here starts out going very very tall uh, maybe not that tall it starts out going extremely tall and then it gradually comes over so it might for example was this two this was two this is going to be an extremely tall gabled roof i'm just looking at this right now and it's gonna almost seem excessive How's that looking? Hmm. I mean, it'll work. It'll get the job done. But, at the same time... I don't know. I don't know, guys. You're gonna need some slabs. Maybe we can use some... Some slab trickery. Uh, I should probably... Let's just grab some dirt real quick. And that way I can mark relatively easily right where the cent... Oh, this doesn't have an exact center, does it? That's right, because I did too wide so that I could do a door. So that is going to make things a little bit more difficult... Uh, at least in some ways. So we'll maybe do that. And then we'll bring it up like that. And then this was a slab. Okay. How's that look for a roof shape? From back here. I think that is way too high. Like the shape itself. Hmm. What if we take these out and just do that? How's that look? That's a little better. But still way too high. I think I'm just going to have to scrap that, honestly. I think I'm going to have to scrap the whole thing. And it looks like my inventory is full, because all the stuff from my magnet is flying around after me. Uh, let's see here. Um. Um. You go away. You go in there. Um, you're... No, actually, I didn't want to do that, but uh, whatever. Okay, anyway. So, hmm. Gonna have to do some work on that for sure. Tell you what, guys. Let me think about this between episodes. Let me kind of mull it over. 
and uh, we'll take a look at it. And I might just end up reworking this whole thing. Let me know what you guys think. But guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.